what you want to do first is escape refresh power, control D, all that, and put it in developer mode. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I won't be showing you. You can look it up. You can find a lot of tutorials. It's pretty easy. It will wipe your computer, however. So if you don't want to do that, then this tutorial isn't for you. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I guess. Um, now what you want to do is want to click settings. Under settings. Go down to Google Play Store, and then Manage Android Preferences. Now, I found all this crap out myself through like 85 different YouTube videos. I'm putting it all into one to help you guys. Um, now, what you want to do is click Security, Unknown Sources, Allow Installation of Apps from Unknown Sources. Turn that on. Um, now, once you're done with that, you can close it out. It'll say, like, are you sure you want to do this? Click OK. Um, from here... You want to click download 22.4 or maybe in the future there's a different version out I don't know um, don't download the Linux version because Chrome OS is like Linux but stupid or something <laughs> not really but it's based on Linux or something click can't find your operating system go down here to Android and click download while that's downloading you can go ahead and look up, um, that's not how you spell Android. Okay, so you want to look up and Explorer. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this. Uh, you can just stay in Google Chrome. So you want to click install. Put in your password. And now once you put in your password, you can install it. I know that's pretty shocking. Uh, choose a device. You want to find your Chromebook. Click install. Click OK. And it'll, it'll install. It'll pop up that it's installed. Now from here, you can um, you want to go to a song downloading website. I'll use Solus 3 as an example. So once you have that downloaded, now you can close Google Chrome. What? Okay, get out of here. Oh, it's still downloading. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, it's done. It's done zipping. It's done downloading. Now from here, you can just click on that to open the zip. And then you can just copy these. Go to your downloads. Just make a new folder. I'll call it S3. Paste it in there. I know you can unzip it, but that takes like the same amount of effort. Okay, from there, this is important. You need to put it in its own folder. That's pretty important. Um, now from here, you want to do the same thing with Clone Hero. You can just copy, paste it to your downloads. There, and then it'll copy everything over. And that will be all for Clone Hero, right? Now you want to run Clone Hero, and it'll say like, yo, do you want to install this? APK, Clone Hero APK. Staging app, and then click Clone Hero. Do you want to install this? Obviously click install. This is the whole tutorial, <laughs> how to get Clone Hero. Um, that might all seem easy and pretty trivial, and to be honest, it kind of was. This is the part that kind of, I had to do some searching on my own. Here, then you can just click open and then just close it randomly. Okay, now from here, remember we have Solus 3 right here? See? Guitar and notes and all that. You can't just do this. You can't just go to songs and put it in here. In fact, these songs aren't even in Clone here. I'll just show you real quick. Um, you can get a guitar. I found this one on the side of the road and I picked it up. We fell in love. Um... You can click allow, that's how it finds the songs and everything, obviously. Uh, guitar player 3 for some reason. Now you see it's Clone Hero, I'll create a profile. That's not how you spell fat. Fat videos, right? Go to your settings, you can change all this. You can change your frame rate way up. Doesn't matter, it appears to be locked at 60 as you guys will see. Um, here, yeah, I'll do show FPS. 
We may we'll go. Um, now, quick play. There's no songs. What the heck? There's two songs in there, right? Um, so you can just quit. No songs. Like, you're a little confused, like I was, probably. You're like, what? Songs right there. And I clicked scan songs when it said no songs. Do you want to scan, scan songs? What you need to do for that is the stupid part that confused me, and I had to find out all on my own. So you need to put your songs into zero or storage emulated zero com dot whatever no one cares so what you want to do is go so you want to go to zero download here's your downloads right and then copy s3 copy the whole folder oops um, android data Sly Lane, whoa. And then paste. And it should have everything. Yeah, it's, everything is in there. So now you can open up Clone Hero. Once Clone Hero opens, I've plugged in my guitar already. Um, I already scanned the song. I stopped recording for some reason, but you just open it. I created a profile. Settings, scan songs, quick play. And it's Clone Hero. I mean... Oh, I changed all the settings to have a thousand FPS and all that crap, but it didn't change it. It still says 60 in the corner. So you see, it's, it's Clone Hero. I mean, it, it works. Like, it's weird. Because it's at a low FPS and full rate and all that crap, it might have trouble with strumming, like the rake strumming bits. So here, I'll try that. Yeah, you see, like, that that would have overstrummed on my computer. I mean, that would have very much. Here, I'll. That should have been overstrumming, not having notes go through. So it is obviously kind of not ideal, I mean, 